Closing in on first. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. Having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, Matty, this is going to be an interesting watch for me. I can only think back to when you're facing an ace. The team's playing well. You're confident. You go to the ballpark and you want to set the tone. Everybody's in the hitters meetings trying to formulate a game plan to combat what this guy's been able to do throughout the course of the season so far. This should be an interesting game of cat and mouse today. Now a moment here for the Indians starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye Dan. Well I'm watching a guy they call Dr. Smooth Michael Brantley. He was the catalyst for this ball club last month. He had an on-base percentage of over 400. And when you're doing that, you're really helping your team. Now, you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. And he takes strike three called. And it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. Striding in for the Indians, Francisco Lindor, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting. No balls in one strike. Tough slider down low for a strike. Just getting started here in the Bronx. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Edwin Encarnacion now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one just missed outside. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Encarnacion is certainly known in part for power at the plate, in particular in these types of matchups against a left-hander on the mound. Yeah, because he knows that lefty can't get inside on him. Again, a one-two. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And we're fortunate enough to watch one of the best outfielders in the game. The gold glover resides in left field. Can go back on balls as easily as go in on balls. Strong, accurate throwing arm. Look for him to make a play today. Count even now at one and one. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change. He had to be sitting off speed right there. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. And next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. 1 and 0 oh the count. Now the 1 0. Oh. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. 
still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Down the first baseline. Bird gloves it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tribe. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Way late on the fastball for strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Second pitch is chopped foul right at home plate, and he's behind now 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Count remains at 0-2. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest one, with ourselves, one. that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So one gone in the inning now, and here's the center fielder, Austin Jackson. Center fielder, Austin Jackson. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gardner is camped under this one. Two gone. At the plate, Jan Gomes. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Hit down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Indian. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Ramirez. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. One. Hit out towards second. Castro's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Striding in once again, Michael Brantley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Michael Pulled toward right center field. Castro is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So here's Francisco Lindor now. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Indians still in search of their first hit of the ball game. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Down in order go the Tribe. On to the bottom. Digging in to try it again. Edwin Encarnacion. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And that misses one and one. The one one is taken for ball two. Now the two one. Waves and misses for strike number two. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Edwin Encarnacion becomes the first out of the inning. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. No runs, no hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. 
a look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Digging in now, Tyler Naquin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. A changeup over the inside corner. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Indians go down one, two, three. Ready for another chance? Carlos Santana. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Behind 0-2 now. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Top weekly up the first base line. Bird fields it cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. In now for Cleveland, Austin Jackson. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0-1 for 1 so far. Bouncer down the line. No runs, no hits, no errors to this point for the Indians. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. On to first, and Jackson's retired. Two away now. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 0 and 1 the count. Two out, nobody on. Dribbled down the third baseline. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reaction. One left for the... Here's Michael Brantley. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Ellsbury going back. Gone to lead off the inning. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. And this will be put away easily for the out. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. That's a real good job of going back-to-back -back fastballs right there. Most of the time, a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate, and they'll just think, well, this pitcher's going to go back on the outside. But when you double up like he did right there, it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner half of the plate. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jason Kipnis. He went down on strikes last time up. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. What a well-executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. Behind 0-2 now. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends. So only one. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad.
Welcome to MLB The Show 18. First off, let's get you up to speed on one of our new features. A fast developing young player has gotten the attention of the higher ups in management. Prospects may not realize how closely they are being watched, and by other organizations as well as their own. Minor League Baseball is live and on the air. So striding in, number 24. And there you see his righty-lefty. Splits and how they've played out so far this season. First pitch on its way. Line towards center field. Diaz is there, two gone. And with that, here's a look at the busy. Stepping up to the plate, number 24. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat on. Swinging a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Number 28 on the season as they move on top four to nothing. Wow, you can understand what the pitcher's thinking. He doesn't have an empty base, and he needs to get ahead of the count. All he wants to do is get that first pitch over for a strike, but the batter knew the same thing. Stepping in, Alfredo Rivera. Bases are empty here with two men out. Rivera. Tries to dump this one out to left. And that'll get down for a two-out single. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. Hey, they don't all have to be beautiful. They just have to be base hits. That's exactly. Digging in and looking for more, number 24 comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch coming, here it is. He pulls this one into right. McClendon rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they push the lead to five now. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in a hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. And he's safe. Boy, is that a thing of beauty right there. Hit and run to perfection, Dero. Runners at first and third. Yeah, it's exactly what you're trying to do. You don't see it in today's game too much. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of walks, homers, and strikeouts. But right there, manager sets it in motion, and the hitter just executes to perfection. And now they've got him picked off. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. It's there, and he's out at the plate for a double play. In now, Jay Borowitz. He flew out in his last at bat. Jay Borowitz. Hit on the ground toward the left. Scooped up. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. Relay three, relay three. And he'll make it up to third here thanks to the throwing miscue, and we'll see how they want to score this play. And as a former pitcher, I can tell you, nothing is more painful than. 
Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Steve Peace. And through five there. turns at bat, they've only Turn mustered a total of three hits. Steve not terrible, Peace. but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant... Ready for another shot now, now number 24. Number he homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down and the inning continues. And he'll scramble back to first safely. Way to get on base. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the plate. Ready once again, Julian Corcoran. He singled his last time up. Julian Corcoran. Now he'll step off. Runners off for second. And no throw, in fact, as he'll just hang on to it. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. The tag, and he is out. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no number 24 will stand in here again and as he does it's a good time to flash you back to the third inning of the ball game as you take a look at his grand slam obviously a key blow early on that gets down and he's got himself a base hit the throw into second the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired one hits all trying to pick things up where he left off Jay Borowitz and these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden this thing feels doable. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Justin Nicolino wins his third of the season. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score. First for the victorious Jumbo Shrimp. Seven runs, 11 hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. For the Bay Bears, three runs on eight hits, one error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. It's time for baseball now as the show's tour of the minors continues with a stop in the Southern League. Lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp and the Mobile Bay Bears. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Batting third. Left offering. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Diaz on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So a rather pedestrian start. Ready now, now number 24. 0 number for 1 24. for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Come hit on, out towards second. Hander. Rivera is there. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Leaving off from now batting, here. Jay Borowitz. Nice His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it, the left fielder. And that's the first out of the inning. So striding forward now, now Dwight back. Santiago. 0 for 1 here Dwight. in the early going. Santiago. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder has a beat on it. Oh, no. He totally missed it. 
And the run will score all the way from first. It's a 3-0 game. Digging in to try it again. Alfredo Rivera, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Rivera. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And it would have been trouble, but a great job there to pull this one in on the dead run. And that... Striding in once again, Alfredo Rivera. He flew out in his last at-bat. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Number 24 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in once again, number 24. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the 8th and ninth inning. Ready for another shot now. Barry Nobles is hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Hits are even right now at five aside. And there he goes towards second. Little flare out to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left. So even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Wow, that's surprising right there. Hit and run tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get the third. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. Ready for another chance. Stan McClendon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And this inning is a perfect. So stepping in, number 24. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Lying toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runner is breaking from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it 7-4. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Steve Keese. Third baseman. Steve Keese. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. Three for four. He's Ready once again, Alfredo Rivera. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get hit high and deep out to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. It's now a 9-5 to five ball game. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 24. He'll start us off in the eighth. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. On, Sent out. on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Into the box, number 24. He got on top of number one and was 24. a ground-out victim last time. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit hard towards center. In there, a base hit. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too mad. Now at the plate, very noble. No he reached base very on an player. error and later came Aaron. around to score last Aaron. time up. The 0-2 home. 
Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Ready to take his hacks again, Ron Bake, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, that last at-bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Two and one to count. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side. 12-5 is the final in this ball game. The Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. A player is called to question by his manager on his recent baseman and performance. The player's been caught stealing an inordinate amount of times recently. Essentially, a red light is being issued here.